What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now let's go ahead and jump right on in and talk about what third function hydraulics is. Now on your John Deere 1025R, most of the time you are going to have at least two function hydraulics that are going to be for your loader already installed on this machine. And that is just to make sure that you are equipped, ready to go to be able to add a loader to this machine and already have those hydraulics plumbed in. Now a third function hydraulic is going to be an extra set of couple that is added to the machine so that you can have another function to your loader. Now, what I'm talking about when I'm talking about functions, if we have just a two function hydraulic, this means that you're going to be able to raise that loader up and down as one function, and then you're gonna be able to dump that bucket and curl that bucket as your second function. Now, once we add that third function, now we're able to be able to do things as add such attachments as a grapple, maybe a four-in-one bucket or a clamshell bucket, or maybe such things as a pallet fork grapple. Basically, we're just adding another function to that loader to make your loader more accessible and able to use more attachments. So if being able to get more productivity out of your loader is something that you are interested in, I would highly suggest looking into adding a third function kit to your machine. Now, what this is gonna consist of, this is gonna consist of a set of couplers at the front of your loader right there on the actual boom itself. Then you're gonna have another set of couplers here at the machine, and then you're going to have another hydraulic valve that runs back to your hydraulic system to be able to run that third function. Now, this is not gonna be a factory installed kit, so you cannot order your machine from the factory with this third function. But what you can do, and what I highly suggest you do, is that if this is something that you wanna to add to your machine, I would highly suggest talking to your salesman when you're going in to buy this machine and having this done at the point of purchase so that you can get that worked into your buying price or your finance price to try to help soften the blow on that because I can tell you this is a serious job. I actually sat in with this machine while it was having the third function put on and it is quite a mess whenever you're getting in. You are basically disassembling this whole tractor. So the first thing that has to happen is we have to raise the tractor up off the ground. Then we have to take the rear wheel off over here on the right hand side. Then this right hand fender has to come off. We have to actually remove the loader joystick itself. We've got to remove the floor pan here and then we can start to install this kit. So it is a very lengthy process and not only do we have to do that, but then we also have some electrical elements that go along with this joystick here because you are going to have an electric over hydraulic button here to be able to run that third function in the front. Now, another perk to having the third function hydraulic kit is that if you are ever going to add a drive over deck to your machine, you do have the option on these drive over decks to making them a hydraulic lift machine. And if you do that and you already have that third function, then you're gonna have the option of making that a independent lift system by having that third function kit. Or if not, you can actually use those two couplers and your third function on your handle to be able to raise that deck up and down. So that's gonna get you away from having to do this by the mechanical way, which is using your three point arm. All right, so like we talked about before, let's go ahead and show a little bit more about the third function here. So we go ahead and turn the tractor on. Now, once we have the machine on, our loader right now without a third function attachment like this grapple sitting here is only gonna be used for those two functions. So if I pull back on my loader joystick, that's gonna raise it up. If I push forward, it's gonna lower it down. Then if I go out to the right, that's going to dump the bucket. If I go in to the left, that's going to curl the bucket. Now, from here, I'm going to go ahead and switch attachments to the grapple. Then we're going to come to the bucket here and go ahead and release our lynch pins. Now, when we're hooking up to our grapple, we've got to remember that we are going to have a set of hydraulic hoses that are going to that third function. So we want to make sure we get those up and out of the way so that they're not at a pinch point here whenever we're hooking this up to our loader. Now, once we have our grapple on, we can simply attach our linchpin here. 
I'm gonna do this on both sides. Then we're gonna take our hydraulic hoses here. You'll notice we have one male, one female, and we are gonna couple those up with our couplers here at the front. Now, do we not only have our raise, lower, dump, and curl, but now with this button over here that I had shown on the handle, now I can push that button and open up that grapple Push it again to close it. And now you have a true third function to your 1025R. So now if I wanted to back up and I needed to use this grapple for something other than my bucket probably wouldn't get. Now I'm able to grab a hold of something like this, like this pallet here. Or if I was wanting to pick up a pile of wood pile of pipe, whatever those things may be, now I've got the ability to do that with this grapple. So if you're looking to get more out of your John Deere 1025R, I would highly recommend looking into getting this third function hydraulic kit for your machine just to be able to add to that productivity, make your loader more versatile and your machine as a whole. So definitely check that out. So guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you are wanting to see more information about John Deere equipment, make sure to check out all the videos down in our channel. And as always guys, Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.